Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Still rocking the same stuff. Nothing's changed. Um, but the shoe has changed. And this is a, a new, brand new sneaker profile. So we got three wrapped up. 43 technically are wrapped up. Now we're moving on to 44. But before we get into that, lighting's always good. Tees. I love this tee. I love this color. Got the, the box, the sneaker box intact. I hope you guys are excited, but go ahead, go grab yourself a nice cold beverage, chill, and let me entertain you for maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and roll with it. Sneaker profile number 44, let's go ahead and go. So once again, this is basically I'm taking from the series that I dropped a live from back in November 24th of 2021, which is last year. I took... um that live and i'm basically doing a sneaker profile on those five nike dunk highs that i did or that i showed um during that live i thought they definitely needed their own profile um also because they're in the collection so i definitely wanted to show the show them and then also get them documented into the youtube channel showing them that i i have them or if i sold them at least i can always go back and reference the videos and take a look at them um and see how I look with them in hand. So that's another reason why this whole stinker profiles is going on. And then also to show you, show you the audience in case you guys are on the fence or even in case you guys forgot about these shoes. Let me remind you about them because these are, are truly beautiful shoes, especially this one that I have right here. You see the thumbnail, you know what's coming. So if you're on the verge or if you're on the fence about trying to get it, wondering should i shouldn't i hopefully this helps you out with your decision another reason for the sneaker profile so let's go ahead and go with it fit check really quick i love i love this color got the lulu t i'm not gonna stand up the nice blue denim i'm um, looking nice i'm, I'm relaxed and then if you guys want a relaxing t-shirt by no means this is sponsored by lulu lemon in any way but the Lulu tees, the fundamentals are definitely great tees. Definitely show off the guns, so the show the tries, not bragging. But let's go ahead and go into the sneaker review. Here we go. Got your standard Nike box right here. Look at that. Another size 10 and a half. Trying to never sway from buying that 10 and a half. But if you read that tag, you see it. Nike Dunk High Dash No Tray. No Tray. Let me get in focus. Let me get in focus. Still not in focus. Still not in focus. Let me put the shoes down. There you go. We're back. Mr. Wonderful is back. So back to what I was saying. Nike collaborated with a, a Chicago-based brand known as No Tray. The brandy name is No Tray. I love No Tray. Great clothing, great boutique, amazing collaboration right here. Great, great, great. Nothing crazy about the box though. Typical tissue, so you're not missing anything there, but not a typical shoe, not a typical dunk. So let's go ahead and go into it. Let me know in the comments if you have this in your collection. I would love to know. Let me know if you like this version or this colorway better than the white colorway. I love this one way better. I love this shoe. Um, but let's take a look. Nike Dunk High. Nice, nice hairy suede. Nice hairy suede right here on that swoosh. On the side panels right here. All leather right here. Leather. Nice leather. Back right there. I believe this is 3M. Which is a cool little ta uh, tag right there. Nice. I want to say not suede or leather like a nylon and then we got that nice hairy suede once again but this right here remember this is leather which i'll show you a closer look but this is that canvas canvas different not hairy suede hairy suede right here but not hairy suede on the on the medial side of the shoe it's more of a like a um some type of fabric canvas right here Right here, got the hands, got the handshake going on right there. Beautiful. 
Boom. Love the laces. Laces are cool. Got the Notre hit on the tongue. And then Nike on the top. And let's go ahead and get a closer look. This is kind of like an off-white. It's not a pure white. It's an off-white. And then you got that nice navy outsole. Um, never been worn because I haven't worn these. I, I can't wait to wear them though because it's such a beautiful shoe. I love all the different details on this shoe. And I'm going to ba basically right now give you that closer look. So if you are on the verge of, of wondering if you're going to get these, definitely get them. I'm not, I'm not sure what the resale price on these as of, as of today is, but just a beautiful shoe. Especially, I, I mean, I'm a big fan of that blue. Um, blue and white, classic classic um combination right there so here we go like i said this is a collaboration with nike and the midwestern chicago based brand no tray basically no tray wanted to to give that hard working midwestern attitude when it came to this dunk it also came with um you know if you wanted to purchase uh that that workers uh shirt as well as a, a nice t-shirt i do have that i did purchase that um unfortunately your boy did not hit on on sneakers i was i was a little pissed off about that um i had to buy this on ebay so i picked this up on ebay i did not pick it up on StockX. so this is not a stock x pickup i purchased this on ebay i forgot the amount that i purchased it for um but you know it was one of those shoes that it was like i had to have it in the collection because of of the details on it you know the no trade brand i really liked that a lot um, a lot of the details that I'll show you in a little bit um, on the shoe is what made me also really want to buy it. So, like I said, this whole collaboration, what No Tray was trying to do was just put put a nice touch of that hardworking uh, Midwestern attitude on this one, and I believe they did it based on the materials and the fabrics that were used. Um, so here we go. This was released actually on January twenty third of 2021 and the retail price was 150 dollars your boy did not pay that unfortunately um but it was just basically a, a beautiful collaboration right here um peter moore who, who is the designer basically you know took the 1985 design and made it his in terms of um the dunk and the collaboration um if you guys are wondering what no tray means that translates to our in French so no tray means hour in French that's that's the shop's name um, but what do you guys think about this shoe how do you feel about it you got that high quality suede that triple stitch detailing um, the inspired patches uh, there's a lot going on in the shoe so let's take a look at the shoe I love this that 3m right there you see how the the um, the different materials right here the hairy suede and then you go into this i want to say like a harder canvas this is leather Let's see if i could get it it's a little bit too bright but this is canvas so the medial is just different materials besides the hairy suede i love the little the hand shaking right there that's amazing that's a beautiful detail right there canvas not leather this is leather right here and then you see that nike no tray it's like that workers um when you know on those the blue collar workers they have that their name tag right here. That's what Notre did on the tongue. And then inside, it kind of looks like, you know, cement print or like gravel. But it it's actually not. It's like, uh, I, it's hard to say what that is. Um, uh, having a hard time describing it. But it's just a, it's a different type of material in there. I wish I could give you a great, a better view, even if I move these shoelaces out. But cool insole. I love it beautiful shoe what do you think where does this rank as far as your nike dunk highs um back in 2021 they're releasing a lot of nice nike dunk highs they kind of slowed down with it which is a good thing um because you don't want to burn people out the tongue you know is that canvas as well so amazing collaboration i love this shoe it, it also released in a white and i want to say like a white and red it was more white than anything um, but it did have some red hits. But out of those two, this was my favorite. This is why I purchased this one, or so it had the white one as well. But it's just that wasn't working for me. What do you think about this shoe though? 
in your opinion out of the this one and the white one do you think this is the better one of the two let me know drop a comment down below also you know do, do you have this in your collection i would like to know have you worn it i would like to know I, I love to know all those things so drop comments down below let me know how you feel about this no tray nike dunk um also let me know if you you know plan on getting this in case you know it's not in your collection do you think you're gonna maybe get it a little later on i'm not sure where the resale market is on this it's probably not much not high because it's a nike dunk high they typically don't um aren't worth very much um but yeah let me know in the comments i would like to know all those details i appreciate each and every one of you thank you again sneaker profiles number 44 is almost in the books um be on the lookout for sneaker profiles number 45 the last part of the series the last installment I can't wait to see you guys there. You guys will see the thumbnail. You'll see what I'm bringing. But if you want to do a little shortcut, go ahead and jump to that live that I did on the, the 24th of November. You can see what I showed. Um, but that would be the final installment of, of this series. Um, 45, we're almost there. We're at 44 right now, but be on the lookout. Uh, once again, thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. What are you doing? Hit that like button. Drop a comment. I'd really appreciate that. Also, Go follow me on my Instagram, Floyd Chavez Jr. And then also hit that reminder button because we're all busy people. That reminder button basically helps you not to forget about me. But until then, be on the lookout probably in the next day or so. Sneaker Profiles number 45, the last Nike Dunk installment. I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I, I always look forward to doing this for you. Like I said, May this is May 30th, so... We're already in July when I drop these videos. So hopefully you guys had a blessed 4th of July. Hopefully you guys are safe. And then until then, until the next one, you guys stay blessed and I'll catch you.